what Manchester United is going through now is a phase most football teams do pass through. It's a phase in life. They are not at their best. You know, we've seen almost 30 years of uh, the Sir Alex Ferguson and what he molded that club to be. With his departure and the departure of some known stars in that club, the club will have to rebuild. It is not, I'm sure even if they bring uh, Sir Alex Ferguson back, it will take some time for that club to be rebuilt. It's difficult to call him a flash in the pan um, because he hasn't had time to spend money. The previous manager spent £400 million pounds or over that, Jose Mourinho. And we're talking about an Ole that has ensured that United are even in the running for the top four, um, have progressed miraculously against PSG in the Champions League. So that's a bit of money in the bank. Um, so maybe when the season is over, he has time and money to spend. Then once he does that, then we'll start analysing um, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. But right now, I think that the result is gotten. I know that he has lost seven of his last nine. But the results, I mean, has been well balanced. Although I've been very skeptical about appointing him that early, I thought United should have waited for a while, let him also get United out of bad results before they show their hands. But anyways, I think Ole is still maybe the right man, but he needs time and critically needs money. That club needs some injection, needs some infusion of new stars, new blood. But it appears the American owners of that club are not ready to really put money into that club, like we've seen in the case of Liverpool, like we are seeing in the case of Manchester City, who appear now to be the landlord of the city of Manchester.